सर वी विल स्टार्ट मॉडर्ना मैडम शैल वी स्टार्ट नाउ यस सर ओके सो अमीन मैडम सो वी विल स्टार्ट नाउ एज द स्टूडेंट्स कम दे विल जॉइन बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी 105 एंड यस सो यस आई हैंड ओवर द सेशन टू अमीन मैम मैम प्लीज यस सर थैंक यू सर good afternoon all present over here i am ami shah assistant professor computer science and engineering department itm bu we have gathered here for an international symposium where professor jinli jian our speaker for today is going to share his knowledge i will take up few minutes to introduce our speaker Dr Jin Lee Jian is an associate professor with the Department of Computer Science and Technology Tsinghua University China he received a PhD degree in computer science and technology from the same university with an honor of excellent dissertation his research interests include distributed computing big data and software defined networking Dr Jian is currently on the editorial boards of KSII Transactions on Internet and Information Systems International Journal of Interactive Multimedia and Artificial Intelligence International Journal on Advances in Intelligent Systems and EAI Endorsed Transactions on Industrial Networks and Intelligent Systems His research work has appeared in Infocom, IEEE TPDS, IEEE TBD, ICWS, and so on. He has won the research fellowship of Alexander von Humboldt Foundation in 2006, the State Technological Invention Award in 2015. and special science and technology progress award of the chinese institute of electronics cie in 2017 so today we are having such a superior personality we are glad to have you sir now i would like to request you to begin the today's session over to you sir okay thank you me for the introduction mm. <clears throat> ah okay uh good afternoon everybody uh i'm glad to be here to share our work with all of you <clears throat> today we will share our experience with ai computing on supercomputers i wish you have known uh supercomputer before uh, In this presentation, I will show you how to run in the cafe framework efficiently on Shenwei Cafe Light. Sorry. Uh, my presentation consists of five parts. First, the background. <clears throat> uh, as we all know, nowadays deep learning becomes more and more popular. <clears throat> uh from the computer stack we can see there are a lot of works related to deep learning for example in the library layer we have in you know, cuda dn uh, cuda plus and uh, uh deep learning for j uh inter <clears throat> machine kernel library and so on in the frameworks we have uh torch cafe deep learning uh, 4j uh as for the application <clears throat> it, it is very uh wide for example we can use ai technologies to do uh amend vehicle to do go games uh, to do uh, speech recognition to do vision processing uh ai or deep learning specific uh it is time consuming to accelerate the processing the calculation uh also people uh devise the many uh ai specific uh, hardware for example google tpu uh, 
and uh, uh, GPU from NVIDIA and so on. <clears throat> uh, this is a typical DNN model uh, for, from the layer, from, from the picture we can see a typical DNN model usually consists of many layers. <clears throat> uh, according uh, to the function of each layer, this uh, layer can be uh, ca categorized into many classes. For example, uh, the general uh, um, convolution layer, the po polling layer. Uh, if we have a close look at the operations in each layer, we can see uh, there are some common um, time consuming operations such as metric multiplication, metric addition. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, pure talk, uh, you, you can see there are many, many functions used for uh, the, these operations. For example, add mm, uh, single mode, and so on. <clears throat> Okay, uh, another background is that deep learning need more and more computing power today uh, to get better results. <clears throat> People uh, tend to use more and more uh, complex models. Uh, uh, in our opinion, the size of the model uh, is proportional to the complexity of the task. Also, the size of the model the more uh, bigger the model, uh, the larger amount of data are consumed. <clears throat> uh, coupled together, uh, we can see that to get better results of deep learning applications, uh, we need a big model, we need to use uh, more data. So as a result, uh, more computing power is needed. <clears throat> yeah. uh, this is some figures about the deep learning applications. Usually large models uh, need uh, more memory space. <clears throat> also large models need more floating point operations. One typical example uh, is I like Nets. In 2012, uh, there are eight layers. Uh, for each image, uh, we need uh, 1.4 GFLOPs. <clears throat> and uh, uh, GPU memory needed is about two gigabytes. <clears throat> for, the, for this model, the error rate is about 16%. Uh, when time comes to 2015 for ResNet, the model becomes uh, 1, 152 layers. <clears throat> and uh, GPU memory needed is, a, uh, is a 56 gigabytes. <clears throat> and the error rate drops to about 3.5%. Uh, the model for deep, uh, deep speech uh, show uh, the, the same trend. For example, <clears throat> from uh, 2014 to 2015, the computing power needed uh, increased 10 times, the memory needed increased four times. <clears throat> okay. Then how to support uh, these models? They're usually from the perspective of computer.